Good afternoon, YouTube. And as, as most of you have on your RVs, on your tank settings, you have a third, two thirds full. They're never accurate at all. We do a lot of boondocking. I'm talking fresh, of course. We do a lot of boondocking, and um, we ran out twice. And when you're in the middle of a shower and you're all soaked up and you run out of water, it's pretty uncomfortable. So, and you know, the gauges aren't very good, so you have a third of a tank, that's in our case, 20 gallons, two thirds is 40 gallons, and full is uh, 60 gallons. But 60 gallons of water weighs near 500 pounds, and that's a lot of weight to be dragging down the road. So, what I went out and found is called Save a Drop Water Meter. And what this does is it, it'll actually, you put it on your hose, and it'll actually meter the water. So you can use this in two ways. So the first way that we did this was we put it on our hose, we're in a campground, and we ran the water through, and we were very um, uh, resourceful with our water, you know, kind of took care of it like you do on the, in the field, take a quick shower, whatnot. And we left it on for three days. At the end of three days, we had 11.9 gallons of use. So we're using less than four gallons a day. And you can look at it for, Things like, I took a shower, I thought I didn't use that much water. I used a gallon and a half, where Donna, she only used nine-tenths of a gallon. So obviously I'm the one that's hogging the water. But we're getting ready to go on a trip here, so one day to get there, five days there. So we're planning on um, six days, so we're planning on carrying 24 gallons. I'll show you how to do that. And at 24 gallons, we will be carrying exactly 200 pounds of water. Okay, you can see there it was 11.9, but when I remounted it to the hose, it jumped up to 12. So, uh, but that was our three-day total. And to, if you want to reset this, you simply just press the other button and hold it. There you go, and it resets to zero. And now I want to put on 24 gallons. Well, before you do that, make sure you empty out your fresh water tank, which I've already done. I just, we have full hookups here, so I just opened up a sink and let it run uh, until the tank was empty. So now I'm going to put it, put it on fill tank. And there we go. Okay, it took a couple minutes, but as you can see, we filled up to exactly 24 gallons. For the first time since I've owned this RV, I know exactly how much is in the water tank. And that's good to know. So, uh, how do you buy this? Save a drop. I bought this one on Amazon. I think it came to $15.84 delivered. Uh, Ace Hardware is supposed to have a similar product for $17.99. I went to two different Ace Hardwares and they didn't have it. So, anyway, this is Save a Drop. Uh, we're going to be hitting the road here tomorrow. We're working our way over to the Grand Teton. Uh, we've been staying at a fabulous RV park here. For the last three weeks and we're going to give you a ride around it on our way out going to the Grand Teton. So see you in the morning. Okay here we are. This is the Mountain Home RV Park. Uh, this park is beautiful. Uh, most of them are all drive through. They're all concrete pads. You get a nice folding picnic table. There's yard lamps. We're just giving a quick uh, overview. We generally don't uh, rate campgrounds, but this is our first truly five-star campground. Starts out when you arrive here. You get an escort to your site and assistance in backing in or unhooking or whatever you need. They have curbside garbage pickup, and if you want your propane tank filled, just sit it up by the curb. They'll come get it and fill it and bill you later. There's two TV rooms with kitchens. Let's make this little bend here. This is the newer part down here. 
little bit larger lots. We're not going to go through the whole thing. We're just going to go down and just give you a quick overview. I believe there's 170 or 190 sites here. The rate is $45 a night. Uh, weekly is $230. That includes tax and electricity. And monthly is $385, which is what we went for. Plus your electricity. Uh, the swimming pool is kept at a constant 84 degrees. And there is a jacuzzi that's 104. They also have half a dog or half a basketball court. And they have a couple different dog parks. I took the wrong turn. I wanted to show you where the pool was. Let's see if we can do this a little dif different. The pool is right up off to our left. A little picnic shelter there. They also have uh, the shower rooms. They're amazing. Uh, something you'd like to have at home. They even come with uh, a recyclable bath mat. So we're going to pull in here. Stop and pay our electric bill. Then we're going to go on out. Here is the clubhouse on the right. And their propane is $2.70 a gallon. Paid our electricity. It is $0.09 cents a kilowatt. We're going to pull over here. Are you going to get the garbage? Okay, let me stop right here. We gotta drop the garbage. But I want to show you the park that's at the beginning of this. And we are getting a little reflection in the camera there. So the one dog park was a fenced in one down back there. And the other dog park is coming up on our left. It's a dog park uh, slash you know, walking park or something. It's really nice. Come up here on our left. has been the Mountain Home RV Park. Uh, RV Resort, I, I'm sorry. Mountain Home RV Resort. It's a G7 company. I guess there's seven sister resorts. All right, let's get on the road. Hey, YouTube. We're at Devil's Wash Bowl. Uh, it's pretty neat. We were already in there. Uh, it's right under... I-84, must have drove over this thing two dozen times over my lifetime. Never knew it was there, but it's pretty cool. Um, we're going to do this as we go across country. We're going to stop at anything we see, shoot it as quick as we can and move on. And hopefully every 10 to 12 minutes of film that we have, we'll just go ahead and upload it for your, your viewing. All right, let's go check it out. Okay, we're driving down the highway. You can see in the background, we saw a sign for Mallet Gorge State Park. Uh, decided to stop and look at this. Let's see if I can get a good clean picture of that. The waterfall is at 60 feet and the canyon walls are 160 feet. Uh, that is the Mallet River 
and that is actually from a spring, an aquifer. And this goes down and ties into the Snake River. Follow it down the canyon. We're behind a railing here. You see another small waterfall across there. Okay. So the Mallet Springs, one of the largest in the country. So it's a big aquifer that feeds into the Snake River. Uh, what does it say? It produces 300,000 gallons of water each mi minute that enters the Mallet River from the waterfall upriver to the Snake River below. That's pretty interesting. Uh, largest in the country. I'll pause there. You can read all of it. Okay, we're going to give a view of the falls. Uh, we have a lot of traffic noise here. I-84 goes over top of the falls here. But we're going to give a little bit of a shot of uh, perspective underneath the bridge. 